How's it going guys? This is Ryo Murata, photographer based in Tokyo. Something I had to make a video on and it's not necessarily what I'm wearing right now. I picked this up at a local Uniqlo shop which was on a fire sale. It's like an outer like play cobble, like fleece clothing which was like being sold for like $12 or so instead of like $19. Yeah, so it was like a, on a bargain sale actually. And Uniqlo is actually famous for what you call these fleece type of like clothing and I went off topic that's not what I'm about to talk about but I recently purchased something called a Hakkin Cairo aka in North America you guys would call it by peacock warmer if I'm right and due to the fact that Tokyo has been like really cold especially this year compared to the previous two three years I thought it was a great time to like pick one up and at the same time in Japan, typically the there has been a trend of camping going on due to the fact of this, you know, pandemics. You guys know that camping equates to like social distancing and because it's often done in a location where it's like spaced out, lots of people are going out to like camp instead of like staying home. I guess everyone's like stressed out. So, and, and there's been a, a trend that a lot of people in Japan actually have been making a lot of like what I call like videos related to camping and one of those videos a person was talking about this like handy warmer which caught my attention and then I purchased it recently and then I tested it out and I've been bringing it to work and I and it's like a useful thing that that I really wanted to mention in my channel. Until this point, I've been like using those handy warmers, one-time use handy warmers. In Japan, we call it by Cairo, and you basically open from a plastic bag, and there's another plastic bag which you need to open, and you there, it's like a sticky sticker like function where you peel off the like the paper wrapper or something like that, and you attach it to wherever part you want. But like thinking about the ecology and the you know sustainability of that and purchasing what one per day which equates to what if in a month I had to purchase like 30 of these which is time consuming and at the same time uh, so many like garbage comes out of it so I was like looking for like alternatives like is there anything cleaner than that so that's actually where this comes into play and I had to like mention like the reason why I purchased this especially for my channel actually and and uh what is this hakkin Cairo? it's basically a handy warmer that existed like 100 years ago and this one in particular uses fuel as in it uses benzene a chemical form out of benzene as a heating fuel and i said in my previous video that i failed chemistry and mathematics so i'm bad at like talking and explaining about that so i just going to say exactly what it does from their official website and it's basically a peacock pocket warmer is a warmer that uses sort of like a chemical principle that uses that vaporized benzene hydrocarbon which generate heat when it contacts with the platinum at the tip actually and this heat generation or generator neither like ignites that benzene that's being soaked on cotton so similar to like a zippo lighter if you have like used it a zippo lighter basically uses fuel that's being soaked in a uh, cotton and basically when you like flick it off it like you know heats up but instead of doing that it basically does this like chemical reaction where the the tip of the platinum does some kind of chemical reaction with the benzene and it basically ignites not ignites but it produces heat in that in a reaction with it so and, it, and this sort of like catalytic like reaction of uh, platinum decomposing that decomposes the vaporized benzines into carbon dioxide and water and it and depending on how much fuel you put into this like little container you can basically adjust how long it lasts it could go up to like 18 hours for extended period of time so in my case i basically bring this to work so the commute to work is like one two hours and after that i don't need it so i don't use that much fuel afterwards so okay so how does this relate to me due to the fact that i've been shooting more outside and it's getting colder actually and while i'm like shooting we always 
have to like remove our films away from the camera body and you know put a new one in there and compared to like 35 mil medium format in particular you guys know that we have to like rip away that you know the what, aluminum fold type of like wrapper and then we have to remove the paper wrapper from the Kodak's you know line of like Portra 400 Pro 400H if you guys still have it and you can't do that with your gloves on it's like impossible so we have to like bare hand held and do the intricate you know process which is time consuming and at the same time you know our hands gets frozen at the same time so by having this in hand after we load our film I basically just touch this and do like this and stuff like that and just warm my hands up about the time being and I guess instead of having those like what one-time use handy warmers having this around and at the same time because it uses fuel it uses benzene as a you know heating fuel it actually heats this is one of these is equivalent to like 13 of those like instant type of handy warmers which this actually produces much more heat and warmth so if you're in a, like a really frosty like environment it will help you in the long run and stuff like that in japan there's like three sizes of these. There's like a mini, there's a standard, and there's also a giant one actually. So the mini is the one that I have. It's the smallest one. It's like really compact. It's like smaller than my smartphone. Let me get it out. So it's, oh yeah, try not to touch this while it's like being like ignited because this, you can't burn yourself out. You can bring yourself with this. So this is my smartphone, like a five, six, six inch smartphone. So it's like, it's like smaller than it's half the size of it. So half the size of an iPhone or an Android phone. And it's like a car size. It's actually the same dimension as a credit card, but thickness wise, it's like, it's rather thin at the same time. So. I mean, you can put it in a purse, you can put it in a wallet, not a wallet, in your pocket, anywhere. And this one in particular lasts like 18 hours if it's like fueled to the maximum amount, which is great. And the standard one is larger and it lasts like 24 hours. I don't know what I will use it for, but I'm guessing that a lot of fishermen might use these actually when they're like off the coast and stuff like that. And there's a giant version which go up to 30 hours. So I guess it's for like more like people who go to outdoor camping and they would like stick one of these into their like sleeping bags and stuff like that. So by having this in your sleeping bag, it's like it'll warm it up actually. So that's actually the reason why the standard the giant exists. But typically if I'm like commuting to work or if I'm like just shooting outside, I mean, I just bring this along when it's like and I feel and also like feel this like half that so it lasts like six hours at most in most cases and I'm good to go actually. So what's like really neat about this is that this is basically the only company the Huck King Warmer is actually the only company that makes this that's like 100% made in Japan. There has been a lot of companies that made these types of handy warmers but they went out of business and this like producer maker or I don't know what you guys would call the company is the only company that actually makes this products and they're still operating they're like still in business ever since they were like founded in 1923 so and there are alternatives such as a zippo lighter not zippo lighter zippo warmer but I was straight away from those due to the fact that they're made in China if I'm right and lots of people have issues with it and because their quality control issue. I mean, it could it actually like fails along the way in not extended period of time, but more like in short durations. And a lot of people would prefer to use this, which is like a hidden gem actually, and not many people know about this actually. And at the same time, not many people from Tokyo know about this. People who live on the countryside know a lot about this due to the fact that it like gives out so much heat compared to a typical like handy warmers one day use and be, and it's sustainable it like lasts pretty long I mean there has been a lot of people who've been using this for like half their life actually so great to have as an investment actually downside of owning this Huck King Cairo is basically there's actually only two downsides one is you basically have to continuously purchase the 
the liquid, not the liquid, the, the fuel, the heating fuel, actually, the benzene, actually, which costs roughly like $5 or so, five, six dollars for one bottle, 500 milliliter. And typically in one time use, you use roughly 10 milliliters for like six hours or eight hours or so. So that's like 50, you can use it for, for like 50 times or so per bottle. So that's like about a month and a half or so, if I'm right depending on how long I would like to use this. And along with that, there is another downside to this, which is you basically have to like, or like swap out the platinum catalyst thing, majig, I don't know what you call it, which is removable. And that's basically the area which is perishable. It, it kind of dies out after two to three seasons after use because you're constantly using that and you're using a lighter actually to light it up and to like start the reaction. You basically you need to like fire it up. <laughs> I don't know if that's the right way to say it, but you need to like use a lighter to like fire it up and to make it like start working. So that's basically the only downsides of owning this is like, it feels similar to as if you're like shooting with a camera and uh, as if you're like shooting with a film camera, you know, you guys know that you basically have to like load your film onto your camera on one of the reels and you basically have to like extend it and you basically have to lock it into place, shut the camera and, you know, forward it to the first frame. It's, and that's basically sort of like a ritual that everyone does. And this actually feels similar to that, you know, because you, every day you wake up, you put the nozzle on top of this and you put in fuel, and depending on how long you want to use this and you just take out the funnel out and you put onto the plat platinum catalyst on top of here, you use a lighter to light it up and have the reaction going. And to check that you basically use the lid to actually see if the vapor is actually coming out from this. And it, this process, thought process of unconsciously doing it every morning and I'm, um, is really similar to like shooting with a you know film camera and honestly i do like something like this something that's like really analog and it just works you know unlike something like that there are some people who use the electric version of this you know the electric handy warmers and stuff and it doesn't feel right you know due to the fact that it's electric and you basically have to charge those things up and it doesn't feel right this is a not many people from Tokyo actually, like especially people around me know about this due to the fact that Tokyo, it doesn't snow in Tokyo at all. Sometimes maybe once per five years or so it might snow in Tokyo, but not many people know about this. And, but a lot of people on the countryside actually know a lot about this due to the fact that if you go to the countryside, it's mostly mountainous regions and it snows often, especially if you go to up north and also to the west, actually. It snows a lot and it's colder and those what I call typical handy warmers are like, like useless in those regions. So a lot of people use this as their like heating method of heating yourself up when you're actually doing productive work outside, putting it in a pocket and your like back pocket or anywhere. And, and I'm like curious about people who live outside of Japan, actually, like, do you guys know about these like peacock, like what I call handy warmers? I mean, it would be interesting if a lot of people from the up north use this. And at the same time, I'm just curious about when you shoot outside, especially in cold environments, how do you keep yourself like warmed up during those like seasons? And if you have any advice, I would be, love to like see them, especially in the comment section below. And yeah, that's basically it. <laughs> Honestly, this was not related to film photography, but as someone who constantly goes outside, I thought it was like worth mentioning on my channel and I hope you guys like enjoyed it. If you have any like questions, please like leave it in the comment section below. Love to hear from you guys. So yeah, yeah, stay safe during this cold season and yeah. Hope you enjoy this video. We will see you next time. Peace.